yeah, so I just pressed pray and um, I will not be offering spoilers up. Uh, I, I want to offer a take on it that I don't think you're going to hear, but I, I, I know that if you've clicked on this, you've already watched it or you're going to watch it. And so nothing I'm about to say is going to change any minds, you know, move any hearts, any, any of that kind of stuff. But I did want to offer, I did, I did want to offer a take because I'm not convinced anybody else is going to say this specifically. It's harder to it's harder to note, it's harder to critique, it's harder to review a good movie, a movie that everything is working in versus a movie where stuff's not working because the one that's not working, you can point to specific things and you know, if changed or if adjusted or if improved upon, would improve upon the movie, the story, that kind of thing. Um, I'm not convinced, you know, if saying instead of a knife it was a gun, like specific notes that that would improve because that's really up to the screenwriters. That's really up to the filmmakers to figure out how to make the adjustment work. But you know, when something's not working in the, in the revisions process, in the noting process, you figure out what's not working and then it's up to the filmmakers to figure out how to make it work. Yeah. Uh, the idea, the ideal is you get the script, to be undeniable. You get the story to be undeniable. You get the characters to be undeniable. You get the ending, the experience to be undeniable. This is one of those. Prey is one of those. Um, and that's, that's when you, that's when you, that's when you know your script is ready. In my opinion, um, this is not the case for independent film because when it comes to independent film, as soon as you get the money, you go make your film because you don't know if the money is going to disappear suddenly. And so the script is in whatever shape it's in when you get the money. I'm not apologizing for, you know, bad scripts in independent film. I'm just saying that's how I think about it. But when you're given a full budget and, and time and blah, 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 it's up to the filmmakers, it's up to the screenwriters especially to workshop it, revise it, make sure that everything works to a level of undeniability. That's when you're ready to go make your movie. Yes. Um, and this is what you get. And, uh, uh, other part of that is I, I'd be, uh, you know, all things being equal, I would pick to tell a story. That's a new idea every single time, all things being equal. If I'm getting paid to make something different conversation, but if I'm blank checking it, if I'm doing it for the love of the game, whatever new idea, however, I'd be lying. If I said I didn't have a list in the back of my mind, in my computer somewhere, blah, blah, blah of stuff, especially when I was growing up that I really cared about books, television shows, movies that if given the keys to the kingdom, I would make that movie. I would, you know, George Lucas wanted to make Flash Gordon, ended up making Star Wars because he couldn't get the rest of Flash Gordon. Um, it's, it seems very clear to me that most, if not all the filmmakers that made Prey 35 years ago, sat in the theaters and saw it and went, oh my God, one day I'm going to make my take on this movie. And then, and then it's been in the back of their minds this whole time because it is it was clearly made with love. It's clearly made uh, understanding, understanding what made the first Predator so great, which I think is a problem with a lot of sequels that fall on their faces is they take the wrong lessons from the success of the first movie and try to apply it to the sequel. And it doesn't work because they didn't figure out the actual stuff. And usually it's story stuff. Um, Side note, you know, if you've seen the original uh, behind the scenes for the original Predator, uh, Jog Claude Van Damme was in a lizard suit and it didn't work. And the filmmakers had the awareness to go, oh my God, this isn't going to work. And so they, they at some point fixed the Predator suit and made it the iconic Predator suit that it is. Again, the iconic Predator suit is not, a, is not important to me, but the fact that they understood that they had to make an adjustment, otherwise it was going to torpedo their film. That's the kind of thinking we need in filmmaking. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it, it's, it's, really, it's really satisfying to find an example of an established property, a sequel, a built-in audience, all that kind of stuff. Because again, all things being equal, I'm not a bank, I'm not a studio, I'm not trying to get a return on investment. I'm always gonna pick a new idea because even though most new ideas fail, that new idea could be the original Predator. 
However, given given blah blah blah, given the fact that only sequels make it to theaters now, they 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 somebody somebody during some part of the process said, "Hey, do you have a what is what is the movie you know you would make that's already been made because it affected you in your childhood in some way?" Some version of that conversation happened. Obviously, they were trying to probably reboot Predator again, but yeah, I mean, these filmmakers had this in the back of their heads for 35 years that they were going to make this. Uh, they did it. So, also, it's 2022. It's about time that there's a totally indigenous cast. Is that even right? The word Native North American? I don't, I'm not even sure of the words, but darn right. Um, Amber Mid Thunder, tour de force. I'm I'm embarrassed that I've never heard of her because she, yeah. Um, also, my guy from Shorzy, whose name I forget, my guy, he's in it too. Um, it's you know, so it worthwhile. I have I you know, it's it, it's you know it's bad it's bad luck to talk about the movies. The, that ten-year-old me picked that one day in my forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties may get an opportunity to make, but they did it and they made prey. Very, very good. See ya.